Um, well, I mean, the, the whole night it was turnovers. I mean, uh, you're not going to beat anybody on the road. Uh, 21 turnovers, 22 points, and they dominated the glass. Uh, 18 offensive rebounds for uh, 20 points with 11 offense rebounds for 16 points coming in the second half. So um, you look at the line, we held them to 108 points, 39 from the field, 27 from three. Um, but transition, we gave up 28 transition points. A lot of that off our turnovers, gave up these second chance opportunities, and that when we fouled, you know, just careless fouls. I went to the foul line 30 times to our 18. So um, and just, just too many careless possessions on both ends. Not all of them. I, I think so. I mean, Nicole had nine turnovers. That's, um, you know, and he knows that you can't have nine turnovers. Um, so, yes, they're a good defensive team, but I, I can't say all 21 turnovers that we had were because they're a great defensive team. I think uh, there were definitely possessions where, um, you know, we just weren't focused, weren't sharp, uh, we just weren't on point the way we needed to be. So, um, and that was probably the most disappointing thing is that the turnovers all night long were just, uh, they never stopped. And when we continue to play good defense, you know, they just outworked us on the glass. Um, you know, that, that was a disappointing thing in the second half is, um, you know, Al Horford gets four, Robert Williams, the third gets six, Tatum gets two, Marcus Smart gets two, was all, every, everybody. Those were like 50-50 balls at times, and they just wanted it more. You know, it's, um, you know, that's the way the game broke. Um, yeah, I think the turnovers continued and we just struggled to make shots. You know, I thought uh, Nicola got a bunch of really good looks, you know, and, uh, you know, I thought shots that he, you know, we almost take for granted that he makes, uh, you know, Robert Williams is long, he's athletic, he's a good defensive player and um, struggle to make shots. You know, I should have gotten bones back in the game. You know, uh, that's, uh, you know, as I was walking off the floor, you know, that, that was my immediate regret. Nothing against Faku. Faku played well, but just uh, game, more, valuable game minutes for Bones. Let him be out there, but also a guy that can make a shot. Um, so, yeah, their, their defense is a, they're a solid defensive team. And uh, I just felt that our execution and our ability to make shots obviously wasn't where it needed to be. And what we've you know, almost become accustomed to as of late, you know, putting up big numbers. But this is a much different animal than the teams we played lately. But Nicola, attempting 10 threes. No, I mean, again, I, I think the key to your question was, you know, if they're the right ones, you know, I, I felt I'll go back and watch the film, but he was three of 10. That's a great shot for him. He's proven to be a very uh, capable and efficient three point shooter. Um, you know, but as I watched the film, the question we could, we've gotten a better shot. Could we have moved them a little bit more against a really good defensive team? You got to try to move them to create some breakdown somewhere. And, uh, and I don't know if we did that enough tonight. I think in that second half to your earlier question, uh, we, we probably could have moved bodies, moved the ball more to get a much better shot than we did take. You mentioned Faku, too. How big was his impact after being out of the rotation and being able to come in? Yeah, I mean, for a guy that's only a second-year NBA player, he is a vet. I mean, I know that sounds weird, but he's been playing this game his whole life. He's a pro uh, I've been staying in constant communication with him, talking to him, keeping him engaged. Um, and then, you know, when I realized that Monte was going to be in concussion protocols, you know, once again, spoke to him, let him know that, you know, his number is going to be called. And, you know, you love to see that. You love to see anybody that's kind of out of the rotation, not playing, be given another opportunity and take advantage of that opportunity. Um, you know, so Faku goes out there, 14 points, uh, four rebounds, three assists, a couple of steals. Uh, and had a positive impact for the most part. Mike. Well, I know you said you liked uh, the shots that Nicola had, uh, and obviously the nine turnovers as well. Um, does he look at all tired to you, or do you think there's, he's, he's dealing with any kind of fatigue at this point? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, uh, that, that guy is a definition of fatigue. Uh, everything that he's been um, placed on his shoulders, uh, not just this season to keep us afloat without a Michael and Jamal, um, but I, I think it's a cumulative effect of some of the last three seasons uh, going into this. So, yes, uh, we have three more games prior to the All-Star break. Um, I, I do think, you know, making no excuses for Nicola. I mean, obviously, 
um, the shooting, the turnovers and all that. Um, but yeah, he is, he, he's exhausted. He may not say that, but um, I, I would definitely say it for him. He's, he's exhausted both mentally and physically. And, um, you know, we just got to continue to try to help him.